Hello everyone, my name is Jason Sirocco, CTO for IoT at Sectigo. Today's webinar is going to be about securely implementing your connected IoT devices. IoT has been around a long time in industrial plants and actually went by other names. As we connect and digitize processes in everything from cars and healthcare equipment to smart cities and water utilities, IoT security so far has been sorely lacking. Sectigo has a purpose-built IoT device identity security solution that we will be describing later in this webinar. Why Sectigo? Sectigo is one of the world's leading public trust issuance companies in the world. At the heart of strong IoT device security is device identity. Sectigo has been in the business of issuing publicly trusted identities for two decades. Our expertise in PKI and privately trusted certificate authorities has allowed us to think hard and produce a solution that is specifically tailored for the needs of IoT device vendors. Choosing Sectigo as your trusted security partner means you're in good hands. Judging by the headlines, IoT security has been sorely lacking or non-existent. It's not easy, so let's discuss the challenges. So many IoT devices will use the word security on their label or maybe on their website. If you dig into what's meant by that security claim, you might find out that the security they talk about amounts to no more than static authentication credentials, such as a username and password. Static credentials such as symmetric tokens and username and passwords are already considered obsolete in the enterprise IT world, but they persist in IoT because they are cheap to implement. The pressure to bring devices to market quickly cause IoT device vendors to implement weak security and essentially cut corners. Ultimately, Devices are siloed and unmanageable. They're meant to sell to the consumer, never to be seen again. Even if a flaw is found in the device, usually very little can be done about it. When we talk about static authentication credentials in IoT devices, we're often talking about username and passwords. Sometimes the static credential being used is something called a symmetric token. That means that there's a shared secret, usually an alphanumeric string, known to both the device and the system that it's trying to authenticate to or vice versa. It's nearly the equivalent of agreeing to knock three times on a door so that a person behind the door knows who is knocking. There are a lot of problems with shared secrets in IoT security. First of all, they're static. Once a device is compromised, how does that static authenticator get changed? They're often passed over a network in clear text accessible to the attackers. Sometimes they're even published and therefore known to the attackers. In very recent times, state and federal legislation is trying to force vendors to move away from static credentials such as symmetric tokens. What have been the attacks so far in IoT security? The world became aware of the Stuxnet virus and realized that industrial control systems behind firewalls were at risk. Other industrial control systems have been attacked through till 2014 when we saw a German steel mill successfully attacked by cyber criminals, causing damage and putting lives at risk. Through 2015 and 16, we've seen research that have shown that connected cars and connected medical devices are vulnerable to attacks. This isn't just risk of fraud, this is risk to human life. Connecting devices to the public internet is a real danger if strong authentication and IoT security is not implemented. The Mirai botnet of 2016, and up to today, has shown the world exactly what weak credential security gives us. Millions and millions of connected devices are currently under control of botnet owners. But why? Often these connected devices are used in unison to cause denial of service attacks against web-facing resources. Even systems that help to direct address traffic on the internet have been attacked successfully by these devices. What do these infected devices have in common? static credentials. More recently, we've seen sophisticated malware attacks against industrial and chemical plants. Triton and variations of it have been found in the wild, taking advantage of weaknesses in IoT device security. Not surprisingly, weak IoT security has now attracted the attention of governments. IoT device vendors who want to sell their devices to state or federal governments now face requirements. In California, a law has been passed which requires IoT devices to have non-static credentials for authentication. Not surprisingly, this law is in direct response to attacks such as the Mirai botnet. Obviously, static credentials are a big problem when they're specifically named in legislation. The federal government has recently tabled legislation which goes a step further and even requires identity management and patching as requirements for IoT devices that will be used by the federal government. This could be anything from connected aviation devices, medical equipment in federal hospitals, connected automobiles and other transportation, and on and on. 
What is the government telling IoT device vendors? Static credentials are the problem. Thankfully, there's a solution for all this and a much better alternative to static credentials. PKI or Public Key Infrastructure provides the exact opposite of static credentials. By utilizing PKI-based identity security, IoT vendors can be compliant to laws but also benefit from a dynamic trust model. What does that mean? IoT devices should ideally be able to interoperate. Devices from vendor X should be able to talk to devices from vendor Y, or perhaps even cloud services from another vendor. PKI-based identities in IoT devices enable that kind of interoperability. If your IoT device is part of a vendor consortium, a PKI security model is ideal. If your device is part of a supply chain, and it probably is, manufacturers of IoT devices need to ensure the genuineness of what comes off the assembly line and moves on to the next vendor and ultimately to consumer or the industrial plant floor. So how does Sectigo do it? How is manageable device identity security issuance accomplished at scale? By utilizing a trusted third-party certificate authority, you will benefit from being trusted beyond your walls. Protecting CA roots is something we have done for decades. Trying to do it yourself has always been costly and risky, and definitely doesn't make sense from an overall investment perspective. PKI from the past has been costly and slow to implement, but Sectigo's IoT Manager changes all of that. It's a purpose-built IoT device identity issuance platform with the flexibility that IoT needs and demands. We know you need to get your IoT device out to market quickly. Our modern PKI issuance platform enables that. Sectigo's cloud-based issuance service is built with world-class enterprise standards. We provide both a manual GUI interface as well as multiple programmatic means to issue certificates. From REST-based APIs to standard-based protocols such as SCEP and EST, the choice is yours. Our CA hosting services mean that PKI setup is handled by the experts. We host our CAs with the same level of assurance as our publicly trusted CAs. Let us help you figure out your optimal trust model for interoperability. Over 20 years, we've seen it all, and we can help you to deliver the trust model you need. We handle HSM provisioning and can help to draft certificate policies, profiles, and help you with best practices. Sectigo is an expert in this area, and we can help you to rapidly deliver these services to you. Sectigo's onboarding experience means that you'll be up and running in a short period of time. We can demonstrate our services for you and even set up a customized demonstration environment to test the issuance platform. This can be done in a matter of hours rather than days or weeks. Do you need something highly customized? We can help. The flexibility of the Sectigo IoT Manager means that we can cover the vast majority of trust use cases without any extra work. Let's talk about interoperability of IoT devices. Are you a vendor in a consortium and you need device interoperability? Then you really need to think about how you're going to accomplish connectivity beyond your own walls and how you're going to also accomplish that with security. How do you extend trust across an ecosystem but also control who comes in? By utilizing a trusted third-party certificate authority such as Sectigo, you automatically get this advantage. Sectigo's IoT Manager is purpose-built for this, enabling isolated administrative capabilities at multiple levels. Are you an ecosystem owner? Rest assured that you can provision your organizations and their individual administrators so that they have their own limited privileges. Sectigo built their IoT Manager so that you can monetize your connected IoT device product as soon as possible in a secure manner. Do you need multiple certificate profiles such as RSA and Elliptic Curve? We can show that within a single administrative session. Ultimately, we took away all the complexity you don't need from PKI and added the flexibility and speed you need for IoT. If you choose to utilize the IoT Manager web GUI, you will have immediate visibility to issuance throughout your device ecosystem. The ability to manage multiple certificate profiles for individual organizations is something unique for IoT identity security management. Issuance via the web GUI couldn't be more simple. You can choose to issue certificates by batch based on a list of CSRs or by an individual CSR. Or you can batch download device identities based on serial numbers, MAC addresses, GUIDs, or other means. Remember, all of this can be done programmatically by REST API, or by other open protocols such as EST or SCEP. 
Sectigo is well known to the industry, and we are at the heart of important PKI and security issuance systems in IoT. For example, Aeromax is a consortium meant to standardize broadband communications on airport tarmacs worldwide. Thousands of connected devices, from catering trucks to airplane cockpits, will be connected securely using PKI-based device identities issued by Sectigo. The WiMAX Forum considers Sectigo a long-term trusted security partner in this vitally important infrastructure. Sectigo is also a PKI issuance partner for the Open Connectivity Foundation. OCF considers PKI security critical for the trust in OCF ecosystems. Devices from dozens of the world's largest IoT vendors will rely on Sectigo for device identity issuance. Curio partners with Sectigo to utilize certificate authority issuance for their wide range of IoT device customers. Sectigo is also actively involved with several other consortiums and partners, giving Sectigo full visibility into the needs of IoT device manufacturers. In summary, Sectigo has made it easy to avoid the pitfalls of weak IoT device security. Purpose-built PKI, delivered by experts in public and private trust, is the answer to fast, scalable deployment of IoT devices.